A Ceph or Standard Exchange Format file is an implementation guideline in a text machine-readable standard format. Its text file layout is not easily readable by a user, as you can see in this example, but can easily be parsed by programs making it usable in applications. An example of such application is the EDI Dev Ceph Manager Utility, which is a program to help users manage Ceph files. Basically, it takes a Ceph file like this, 850-4010, parses it, and presents the data in a more user-friendly way, like arranging them in a hierarchical tree to make it more readable. or laying them out in a format that is typical of most companion guides. Ceph files are also customizable to allow you to include your own specifications. Like for example changing the user requirement of this REF segment from optional to must use. The purpose of a Ceph file is to allow programs to directly port over an EDI implementation guideline with little or no manual work, so that it can be used to process an EDI file. The eFile Manager utility is an example of such a program. It can directly import a Ceph file and use the file schematics for instructions on parsing an EDI document. It also validates the document against the rules in the Ceph file. If I click on the OK button, the eFile Manager starts its parsing and validating of the EDI document. Once it is done, the parsed data of the EDI file are arranged in a hierarchical tree for better viewing. In this section of the eFile Manager are discrepancies between the EDI and Ceph files. They would be considered errors in the EDI document because they are things that didn't comply with the guideline. Other than being computer parsable, an advantage of a Ceph file is its small size, making it fast to transmit between computers and quick to load into programs. A Ceph file without its text section is typically less than 200 kilobytes. Ceph is an open standard and is not a proprietary of EDI Dev, but they can be purchased from the EDI Dev eShop for use with EDI Dev products only. In the product category field, if you select the version of the Ceph file, it will list all the Ceph files for that version. Then you just scroll over the list to find the file you want to purchase. The version of the Ceph file should match the implementation guideline you are following. So if your implementation guideline is the transaction set 850 version 4010 titled purchase order then the set file you should purchase should be also the 850 4010 having the description purchase order. For more about the set please visit our website at edidev.com.